Would you smash a window if you saw a dog left in a car on a day like today? I, I, I first, to answer your question, I absolutely would. I'd be stupid not to say there are a few things you should do beforehand, like maybe call the RSPCA, call the emergency services, but... Um, try and find it's, the it's, owner. Try and find things the owner, like if that. there's anybody yeah, around, yeah. exactly. But I think human instinct should kick in. If I was in that situation, much like that guy you just saw in that lovely VT, I would smash the window to save a dog's life, yes. It must be incredible. You're a big animal lover and dog lover, particularly, mm -hmm. Matt, but it must be incredibly frustrating, even now, still to this day, that people don't think about the implications of leaving dogs... Animals particularly, we tend to remember our children, but dogs yeah. in a car mm. with the windows closed and the door shut on a roasting hot day. It's, 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 it's mad to think that people would do that. And it's illegal. You get six months in prison if you do that. So if anybody's out there thinking of doing it, it, it my mind boggles how anybody could actually let that happen. People think that cracking the window and leaving a gap is enough, but it's not. Not in this heat, not in this heat, not in this extreme weather. It's we, terrible. We put some cookie dough in a car and it cooked the cookies. Did it really? We made cooked cookies. the cookies. Yeah, we made six cookies hours. in the car. And that says all you need to know Absolutely. about the fact that it turns a car into an oven. It's very weather dangerous. Like this, yeah. So, Joshua, what's, what is the legal position? If someone's walking along the street today, because we're expecting today potentially to be the hottest day of the year so far, and they see an animal, it doesn't necessarily mm. just have to be a dog, it tends to be dogs more than anything, and they're worried about that animal, what legally is their position in, if they were to think about trying to get the dog out? They could try just opening the car door, no. as, as we saw in that video. That may be sufficient. You don't need to smash the window. If you smash the window, you may be committing a criminal offence. You may be committing criminal damage in England and Wales. Now, that says uh, you cause damage to somebody's property without lawful excuse. You may have an excuse. Uh, one was that the car owner would have consented if they'd been asked. So if somebody's detained in a shop for longer than they expected, then you might have a lawful excuse. The other possibility is if you're trying to protect property, and I think you might think of a, a dog not as property, but the law treats a dog as property, so you're trying to protect that property. That might give you a lawful excuse. But the advice from the RSPCA is to dial 999, because they say they don't have the powers to mm. do this, uh, and uh, even if you were to do this, uh, and even if you were not breaking the criminal law, even if you had an excuse, well, the owner of the car might expect you to pay for the new windscreen. Absolutely. What would you do in that situation I right would, now? Heat I moment? would, I would uh, look around and I would be rather feeble and I would hope that other people would do this. But I would try the door to mm. begin with and I would check that the person I, I isn't I just a couple an, of... I think you're a nice guy. I think you'd do the right thing. I, I would do the right thing. I'd be very... He's cautious. also a legal expert. I'd be man. very I know, cautious I know, I know. about I know. smashing yeah. through of the course. window. Alan, of course. I'm sure, if this, if a dog is dying, or, or yeah, I, I think I can see that most, a lot Absolutely. of people would. If a dog but is you, in distress, yes. if it's panting, yes. if it's breathing heavily, yeah. if you see its tongue going blue, yeah. etc., yeah. it's an awful thing to see. Yeah. You, I'd like to think that people out there would do the right thing in that moment. What about if the smashing of the window goes wrong? You're injured. Somebody else is injured. Even the dog inside is injured because, you know, it's pretty tough glass and it's not as easy to smash mm. and it can be very damaging, can't it? No, of course, of course. There's, there's, I'm not telling anybody out there, there there are certain ways you should smash a car window. Of course, you need to be careful in any situation. There are ramifications legally, there are ramifications physically in that mm. moment. I'm just saying that if, if you see something, an animal, a human or anything in, dis in distress, you don't fight your human instinct to no. try and save the life of that living being. And most importantly, don't do it in the first place, I guess, is the message. Don't leave a yeah. dog in the car in this weather. This is a stupid idea. Yeah, yeah it yeah. certainly is. Uh, uh, it reminds me, just see, th sitting here thinking, because you're talking about how do you, how would you smash a window without endangering the dog in the car? Uh, many... Me. Yeah, yeah, no, 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 no. A bowler hat. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, many years ago, my mum locked Sam in the car. She locked her keys in the car when um, she picked son. him up from nursery. Oh, do you remember this? I do remember uh, so it, yeah. So he's 13 now, so it's probably when he was about three and the fire brigade had to become... And what, so what they did was they distracted him and got him to look out one window and they smashed the window on the other side of the car so it was a long way away from him. So if you ever find yourself in that situation, maybe right. get somebody else to help you. So distract the dog on one side of the car... And, and, you, and, put in a, and, and that's perfectly lawful, because the fire brigade are allowed to. You've given your consent, and mm. even if you're not there, if there's a fire in your home, of course you expect the fire brigade to do that. Mm. So there are circumstances mm. in which it can be lawful, but you need to be careful, uh, mm. because, you know, there are consequences to committing what, what criminal damage. What are the legal consequences? How long can you... How long, much time could you get if you... Uh, a uh, you, you, could, you could go to prison for ten years for causing criminal damage. Obviously, you wouldn't in circumstances like that. Mm. But it's a serious offence to damage somebody's property. 
So you need a lawful excuse. The law is sensible about this, but it doesn't want people to go around and be yeah. vigilantes and just take the law into their own hands. <laughs> and that's why the advice is to call the police. Did you, right did you uh, sue your mum for well, damage to your uh, car? <laughs> <laughs> you the, the, brilliant, the brilliant thing, as you'll remember, she didn't tell us. And it was only later on that night we were putting <gasps> Sam to bed. Did he admit and he, No, he turned around and he said, oh, fireman came today. <laughs> <laughs> And I was like, hang on. The, what? the fireman came. Yeah, the fireman came, smashed the window. We're going, what? What? <laughs> oh, my mum. Mum? Did the fireman. Anything oh, to tell yeah. Us? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, she didn't lock him in the car on purpose, though. She just, you know, not. closed it. Uh, Josh, yeah. nice to see you. Thank you for coming, Joshua.